The new feature included with the merge tool using Visio is uh, really, really nice to use together with the source code analyzer. So uh, I'm actually going to import an object text file and I already exported the whole merge tool uh, to this text file. So I'm actually going to import that into my uh, merge tool in here. This one is just the default setup. I haven't changed anything except um, I just opened up version so it created all the setup for me. <clears throat> As I finish importing here, uh, it have now moved all the source code in, so it has it in some uh, tables inside the merge tool. The visual function works on top of the source code analyzer, so I need to uh, run the scan on the source code down here. And as it go ahead and uh, scan the source code, it put all the data, both for variables but also for relations, into uh, a table, and that's uh, the information that the visual function actually works on top of. So if I look at it, uh, I can go down here and look at my objects and I can see for my uh, version table in here, I have uh, 38 relations, I have uh, 62 variables and I have 361 lines of source code in here. If I go down and look at my uh, MGT customer table, I can see it only has three relations. But I can of course also see uh, where it's used in relations and I now have uh, a long list of relations in here. This one is uh, nice to uh, look at as data but a lot of times it's a lot easier to see when actually is shown visual. Uh, visual. So if I actually go here and say show in visual, I'll go and say um, I can Right now I only want to see one object. I can actually change the request and see multiple objects at the time. There's some options in here. One of them being a template and there's a template with the latest version of the merge tool that actually is um, the one being used in here. So, But it's in the same download file as the merge tool itself. So I'm just basically clicking OK. It now created a visual diagram with four objects and three relations and if I switch to visual behind the scene here or behind the screen I can see that I have my um, table customer and I have the relations in here and it gets kind of confusing sometimes because if I look at this one in here I can look at that line and I can move it up here and I can now see uh, a little more of the text in here that goes. Visio have uh, several versions of actually doing automated layouts, so I can actually do like a relational layout, I can do all kinds of things where Visio will try format it for me uh, in a nice way that actually shows the information better in here. So uh, there's no really anything to do right now about the uh, lines getting on top of each other, um, but using the different ways of layout in here will make that work and if I don't want to save it, I can go back. If I try to take a table that has a little more information in it, of course we get a lot more uh, information inside Visual. So I had 19 objects and 30 relations in here, and if I go find it, I can see uh, this one down here. In a lot of cases, when you're only looking at one object, either the uh, or the circular layout actually gives a pretty good overview of it. Of course, my screen resolution here is not really high enough, um, but I can see uh, all the relation that goes out and the text won't be overlapping and think that that one in here. So it, it makes it uh, very, a lot more visual using that uh, relay out it for a kind of a wheel kind of thing here. So. Same information is available for multiple places. If I go to Object Explorer, I of course can go in and if I search for anything that have MTT in the version list, I can of course go down here and see um, if I filter on the right version up here, that is MTT 13024 in here. My flow fields down here is now calculating and uh, if I can uh, go and see that inside Visio also, I just need to run this function for also from the Object Explorer 
and I now have my visual diagram in here uh, of the same information. It shows a lot of information, both forms and pages and things like that one. And if you don't need anything else than table, it actually you can just filter for that object type as relational type in here also. Yeah, I don't want to save that one. It's of course also available if you go here and drill down on the objects uh, into the source code analyzer. You can of course go and show the object in Visio. You can also show where it's used in Visio. Um, and you can do the same for the relation in here also. Same actually also goes for uh, variables where I can go in and say if I wanted to go down on this one and say this one is my variable of the table uh, this one, I can actually go in and say, okay, I want to show where this one is actually used in relations. And I can go ahead and uh, just open up that one, go through, it will show this visual diagram. And this one's going to be pretty complex um, because it's like the main table, the version table is like the main table is used all over the place in here. I can actually see as a visual diagram is building in here. So. And then I will just go in and uh, relay out it for any other way that maybe will make it look better. But I can see all the relations in here. So uh, yeah. If you have a lot of tables, um, this kind of flow uh, one works uh, pretty well because you have the key table would be um, isolated on one side out here and then rest of the tables would actually all be sitting in a long list uh, out here. So. Yep. But that's basically is how the visual works and I'm really thankful to, for Jason Prickett to put up a very good example on Mibuso. That's where the automation code was taken from and it saved me many hours of uh, actually testing and verifying that it works. But uh, yeah, go use it. It's available for every partner to actually go uh, use this one with um, their development or anything else they're doing.